Hello and welcome to our first video about standard elements. Now we're talking about the most simple one, yeah, the proportional element. It's a base element, called base element. It's just a base element. Yeah, this is why I call it that way. <laughs> so, proportional element. Proportional element or short p element okay. for better understanding i give you a little example yeah give you a little example let's say we do have some sort of proportional valve yeah? so something like that blocked pass yeah, and it's proportional yeah, proportional valve doesn't really matter which internal construction there is uh, puppet valve or sliding valve does not really matter for us important is that the, the way the displacement is is somehow determining the opening yeah and this this displacement this displacement will influence the flow here yeah so there is a certain flow yeah and there is a displacement okay and i tell you now if this displacement a in millimeter is zero then the flow in liter per second yeah, is of course also zero and if this displacement is five millimeter yeah, we uh, say we have 10 liter per second that's the that's the characteristic of this valve and the characteristic is linear okay so it's a linear characteristic valve yeah this means yeah, if i want to know a certain flow at a certain time yeah? I just have to multiply the opening with some factor okay this factor in this case yeah? in this case it's 10 liter per second divided by 5 millimeter and this is 2 liter per second and millimeter yeah. So k in this case is two. Yeah. And now, what it what is this with this proportional element? Yeah. Let's think about the element, yeah. a so-called p element, proportional element, yeah. and there is a certain input to this element, of course. Yeah. And there's of course also a certain output. So there is xi from t, yeah, and there is an xo from t. Okay. And now we say the opening, yeah, the displacement, this is xi. And the resulting flow, this is the output. Yeah? And suddenly, this is a transfer function. Suddenly, this valve has become a transfer element. And this transfer element is, is described by this, by this uh, equation. Okay? So, the equation of a proportional element, the equation of a proportional element is xo from t equals k multiplied xi from t okay that's the equation of a proportional element if i now do a laplace transformation of this then i no longer have x i xo from t i have xo from s and here i have xi from s yeah and linearity 
constant factor will be constant factor. Okay. The coupling between, so here we have, here we have xi from s. Here we do have this xo from s. Okay. And in between the transfer function, this is g from s. And xo is xi multiplied by g. So g, g must be g from s must be k. This is what is resulting. So g for j omega must also be k. There is no s to substitute. That's the transfer function of a proportional element. Now let's think what does it mean. Yeah. This means the absolute value from free of g from j omega is the absolute value of k. Yeah. And at omega zero, yeah, the absolute value from g from j, j omega is also k. Yeah. And at omega infinity, the absolute value of g from j omega is also k. It is k constant. Does not really matter which frequency, the frequency is nowhere inside. Okay. And now the argument from g from j omega yeah, is let's draw the axis. Yeah. So here is the imaginary axis. Here's the real axis. Yeah. Let's draw uh, g from j omega. g from j omega is here. Yeah. It we reach tuck, here we have k. Yeah. What is the angle? It's zero degree. Yeah. At omega zero, the angle is also zero degree. Yeah. And at omega unlimited infinity is also zero degree. It is constant zero degree. Okay? proportional element. These are the equations. This is one example. This is then the transfer function behind. So this is the example transferred in our theory. And now let's have a look what this means in our Bode plot and in a step response. So I write here p element. Set g from s equals k, yeah. and g from j omega equals k. Yeah. The absolute value from j omega is the absolute value of k. And the argument from g from j omega is always zero degree. Let's have a look. Let's have a look on the step response. At the beginning, if there is nothing going in, there's nothing coming out. It's zero. Then, when the input is jumping, yeah, there is no frequency dependency or whatever, yeah, then the input is jumping to 1, the output is jumping to k. In our example, k was 2, so we are jumping here to k, okay, the proportional factor. And then, if the input stays constant, the output also stays constant. This is the step response of a proportional element. 
Okay. Now, the absolute value from g from your omega, it's the absolute value of k. k in our example was 2, so here is the one line. Yeah, it's double logarithmic, there is no zero. Here is 1, here is 0 dot 1, here is 10, 100, it's, it's written. Yeah. So there's the one line, the next line is the two line. So we have a horizontal line parallel to the frequency axis and it's at the position of K. And the argument, the argument from this, yeah, always zero degree, so we stay exactly here. Doesn't really matter which frequency we have, we always have zero degree, zero degree in the body plot. This is the step response and the body plot of a proportional element. The most simple element. It's just a proportional factor between the input and the output. P element, proportional element. Next time we are talking about a little bit more complicated thing, the I element or integrational element. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.